Hello everyone, my name is Tuken. I've now seen Once Upon a Time in Hollywood twice, and I'll probably see it again this weekend and another time next week. That probably gives you a good idea of how I feel about this movie. But wait, there's more. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood is the ninth Tarantino film to grace us, and I had been really damn excited for it. Now, the plot of the movie is pretty simple, a snapshot of Hollywood in the late 60s centered around the infamous murder of Sharon Tate. That spoils nothing, by the way. Frankly, it's important you know who Sharon Tate is going into this. I know a fair amount of you probably know who she is, but some of you may not, so if you don't, Charles Manson sent some of his followers to kill her and three of her friends one summer night in Hollywood. Knowing what I just said is kind of like knowing that the Nazis are the villains in Inglorious Bastards or that Django Unchained is set during the slavery era. It's just important to the plot and you should know it. So, why do I like Once Upon a Time in Hollywood so much? Good question. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood boasts a fantastic A-list cast of Leonardo DiCaprio, Brad Pitt, and Margot Robbie. It also features a supporting cast including Al Pacino, Kurt Russell, Michael Madsen, Bruce Dern, and Luke Perry. As with every Tarantino, the man puts a huge focus on dialogue and many of the supporting roles are one-off appearances. The movie gives him a unique opportunity to use a large host of actors since acting is at the forefront of the whole movie as we see the main characters film TV shows. And in those TV shows, different characters can appear that have zero weight to the plot itself. I love it personally. Every <clears throat> I love it personally. Everyone shines in the specific roles they're put into. There's no conforming really to the plot. And it's in general enjoyable to watch, but it doesn't contribute much to the plot whatsoever. A lot of the movie feels like that. In a sense, it's the Seinfeld of movies. So we go into NBC, we tell them we got an idea for a show about nothing. Exactly. They say, what's your show about? I say nothing. There you go. In many ways, I think this is his masterpiece, but solely for him. It's not a masterpiece, but it is the epitome of his work. The epitome of what Tarantino brings to the table. And while that's great, and the movie Movie doesn't bore you. It is three hours long of the most Tarantino shit ever. Now, having seen it twice, there were different things I picked up on the second time around that I didn't on the first time. The first time I was expecting a bit more of a fast-paced movie. Second time around, I expected what I was gonna get, and I did thoroughly enjoy it much more the second time around, but I also enjoyed it a lot the first time. The only thing that really did is it just more cemented my opinion on the film as a whole. There are some neat long takes, but due to the editing style, you don't really realize, at least I didn't until the second viewing, that he was actually doing doing that. A lot of the time it's because of how smooth the camera moves and how quickly it jerks around. It's kind of like how Kevin Smith films the car talking scenes in Clerks. He broke his neck trying to suck his own dick. Shut the hell up. I swear. Stop it. Bible truth. Oh my God. You can tell that there's a cut there, so it doesn't really register that it's intending to feel like a complete long take. It's really difficult to explain this movie, even having seen it two times. I really don't want to spoil it, but at the same point, it's hard to describe beyond that, since so much of what Once Upon a Time in Hollywood is is so disconnected. Enjoyable performances, but probably only five or six scenes are plot relevant in the whole movie, <clears throat> up until about the final 40 minutes of the film. And that's the movie's strong point, the last 40. The last 20 in particular, turn it up a notch it's two hours of Tarantino dialogue porn and then 40 minutes of staple Tarantino chaos. Overall, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood has a lot of great stuff in it, but its long run time definitely hurts it a bit. And while meandering is the wrong word, the plot does seem to not be present all the time, instead focusing largely on fun sequences that are relevant to show one tiny thing but take up 15 minutes. The soundtrack is good. I like a lot of the shots, especially the backseat shots that show the silhouette of drivers in the car, but the movie lacks enough to draw it up to a 10 in my book. I give Once Upon a Time in Hollywood a 9, and I'll also say it's not for everyone. The last 20 minutes will be the best thing you'll see this whole summer, no doubt about it, but I'm not sure everyone is cool with the two and a half hours that lead up to it. If you like Tarantino, you'll love this just like me. If you just like his writing, you'll like this, but it's not action-packed, so keep that in mind if you're going to look for an action-packed movie this weekend. Let me know what you guys thought of this video. Like I said, I'm going to see the movie a few more times. I might make another video, a spoiler one, so let me know if that's something you guys would even be interested in seeing. Thank you guys for watching leave a like and subscribe if you like the video and we want to see more like it in the future and please check out my twitch channel i stream there nearly every day now playing games and talking to you guys you can also join my discord or check out my letterbox account to see all my ratings and if you'd like to help support me making more videos like this you can visit my patreon or merch store i've also updated my patreon with a whole bunch of new swanky bonuses I've rebuilt a few things so that now the $5 roll gets your name at the end of the videos. The $10 one gets a read a message you give me each month at the end of a video. Not super long, obviously, and, you know, obviously I'm not going to say fucking racial slurs, you degenerates, but, you know, just a fun little thing. And for the $20 roll, it's still the audio shout-out, plus you'll be added to the special thank you list. So, if you're interested in doing any of that to help support me out, you can go visit my Patreon. So, thank you guys for watching, and as always, I'll see you in the next video.
Huge thank you to Patreon supporters Anonymous and Matt Porter. I really appreciate it.